to unfold. It's time now for the Crystal Air kickoff of these two teams have exchanged their pleasantries. Crystal Air kickoff serving the Southeast since 1998. Crystal Air, they offer the dedicated private routes that many people look for the enjoyment of flying. Chattanooga, of course, in their home dark blue uniforms this evening, the visiting club in white and in teal. So for Chattanooga, an opportunity here, as we said, get some of the younger guys involved here tonight. Juan Hernandez, Guerrero at some point, Damian Rodriguez, names like that, names that don't always make the sheet, but we'll get plenty of playing time here this evening. Some of the more familiar names, and we'll talk about them as our broadcast continues to unfold, are not here this evening as the ball is played back. And Chattanooga, Spielman will handle it here. One might expect to see a team like Chattanooga tonight, maybe to hunker down, play some possession ball. Likewise for Metro, and there's an aggressive tackle to get things started. For the Chattanooga Football Club, this is an opportunity to rest up before their next league match in Nisa standings. A lot is going on right now as the Nisa teams near the end of the regular season. We'll tell you more about the Nisa standings as we progress tonight. The solo dribble and then sending it across and it's broken up and then back towards the box and Handled nicely there by the keeper, Alec Reddington. Reddington tonight with the displeasure of standing facing the sun here this evening. It'll be hot in that section. It'll be blinding where he is this evening for at least another hour. See those shadows just starting to creep across mid-pitch here. Now, if you're the opening club, if you're the visiting club, rather, in Metro Louisville, one of the things you look for and one of the things that is hard to find is a quality start on the road. And you would have to think that the Chattanooga Football Club does not want to provide them any early opportunities. As Again, you see this backline possession game. for the over the top. Across mid pitch in Chattanooga now with an opportunity offensively. As you would think that this would continue to be their format here this evening, just wait for the opportunities to appear. Be patient. Force Metro to come at you and be a little bit more aggressive and in the process, maybe make a mistake or two. Hernandez here with it. Corin. Sending it down. Headed towards the keep. And Martin will handle it cleanly there. Metro Louisville making several significant signings to their club here recently, adding some professional depth as they uh, begin to try to qualify, which will begin in September for the Open Cup next year. A team that will have to play their way in with success. to throw it in down the line here and head it back. A little bit of a press here by Chattanooga. Got 
Chattanooga, who began this match just moments ago, a little bit more defensive, now on the offensive roll of mind here. Lopez. As Metro Louisville trying to stretch this pitch a little bit. Finding some vertical room. Just underway and neither team without a, a great look yet. Goalkeepers have touched it a few times. Chattanooga after tonight back into league play and they'll be thinking about how can we get possibly 10 points, eight points before the end of the season and find themselves maybe in a position where they're in the number one seed. We had mentioned at the start of the broadcast that after the loss of Val City and Bay City's halting their seasons. The league itself has gone to a single table format, and in the process, Cal United, with 35 points, is now in front of Chattanooga, who has 32, Albion with 19, and then the Michigan Stars, Maryland, Syracuse, Los Angeles, and Flower City, all still involved in this thing. Spielman holding just for a moment there. Sent up to Hernandez. Some triangle play here, trying to build up out of this. Now you can certainly argue that in the first year of this system implemented by Rod Underwood. There has been a lot of success for Chattanooga out on the pitch. Certainly the trip out west to California was a difficult run for them. But one of the things that they did prove on that trip to California was that there really, there's nobody that stands out in front of them. Chattanooga proved that they could really play against the California clubs like Los Angeles and Cal United. Tossing down the line, trying to get it cleared, held in now by Louisville. Touching it there. Here, Kozozi. Back towards the corner and not in time. Izzy Jara tried to catch up to it, quickly tossed in. Chattanooga will try to get it out. Can't do it. Back on the defense here. Small window of opportunity, centered. Held in now by Louisville. Here's an opportunity. Building, coming towards the box with a left-headed kick in that one. On a bounce is handled well by Reddington. So Reddington, a couple of tests here early. That was the first aggressive shot on him. Aggressive early, certainly scoring early. Early leads change this game in so many different ways. And the one thing that probably Coach Underwood does not want to see happen to his, his younger players out there is have to play out from a deficit. Clearly an opportunity though here to build some depth on this team and some confidence.
course, you build on defense and you win on offense. Tight play there. Still without a corner kick here this evening. As we move into that 10 minute mark here. Back again, Reddington will have to watch it sail wide. Spielman does a nice job there defensively. But forcing the solo dribbler to move a little bit wider than he wanted to. Espinoza was of the mind that he was gonna be able to get a better angle and Spielman just blocked him out. Chattanooga again, here's the single dribble. The breakaway, no flag is up. And the goalkeeper comes out and handles it well. Rodney Green just couldn't quite get it under control. As the ball always seemed a little bit further out in front of him than maybe than he wanted it to be. Just adjusting to the speed here tonight, go ahead and Watch this right here. You see here, he gets it out maybe a little bit further than he wanted. Tried to cross it back and nice job by the keep to come out. Nice job defensively to take away the angle. Our broadcast tonight being brought to you by Coca-Cola and by Chattanooga Sports. Chattanooga Sports, they invite you to check us out. Go to their website at ChattanoogaSports.com and become familiar with all of the things available to do here in this scenic city. Driven and knocked away. A nice two-handed punch there by Reddington. <laughs> As Velasco tried from distance thinking maybe he could catch the goalkeeper off guard. Quick toss in, knocked back out by Jones there. Jones, one of the senior leaders out there. So you can take away Nagel's dad, who's not here this evening. You can take out Gray, but you can't take everybody out in this non-league matchup. Jones giving chase, trying to put the press on. Sent in, Hernandez is there. Bermuda is trying to help out defensively as well. Oh, what a nice move there to maintain possession. Louisville really playing some smart, some smart game here. Working the pitch east to west. Showing a little bit of speed here this evening as well. Chattanooga has made a few runs behind the defense tonight. But are still looking for that really quality look and a shot on goal as we move into 13 minutes. After Chattanooga, if you look back over the last couple of matches, been a couple of ties, a couple of losses, and one win. This is Jones. Has it knocked off his foot. Carries into the corner. He's sent back out again. Got a foul and a halt in play. slightly mentioned that Val City and Bay Cities have suspended play. Left a lot of people wondering what was fair to do with those points. And all the points won or lost in a contest with Val United will be surrendered. It's as if those matches never occurred for anybody in this league. Again, trying to get behind the defense. An opportunity maybe here developing. A little one-on-one, -on -one, broken up defensively. Still in the box, however. This one's sent far to the right side. Jones gets it to the bar. 
and it's off sides. Boy, it looked like he got that one under control and then drilled it. Goalkeeper Bryant Martin, though, signaled right away. Watch this. Nice job by Jones to get under control. The one-headed wave by the goalkeeper. And the flag was up. Back now to the live action out on the turf. Reddington now, the keeper for Chattanooga, will have to be on the ready here. Footed away and out of danger. Chattanooga tonight, a few of the loft shots have gotten over that defense. And Metro Louisville has brought everybody across mid-pitch as they have really put the press on here offensively. And here's another one off to the far post, and Reddington fields it. And the one thing he may do tonight, a little bit differently as the keep, he may hold the ball just a bit longer. Allow some of the younger players an opportunity to get back into their position. And you're really sort of quarterbacking a new group of players here to this evening. And the one thing you want to do is roll it out early and have them out of position. Jones sends it a forward and then this one on the through is just not connected on. Little misconnection there. As Green Jr. was breaking through the middle, you don't see a lot of center play like that early sometimes. As Jr. again heads towards the middle portion near the box there, Hernandez sees it flicked away. And here is an opportunity that is broken up. One thing for certain here in this first half, Louisville has managed to get to getting has managed to get into that goal box a few times. If, They've been on the six yard line. They've been on the 18 yard line. Just haven't had that one go through the, the pipes yet. Chattanooga appears to be very comfortable in just slowing it down here and playing a little bit more of the possession. Chattanooga, the September schedule. After what concludes here tonight, California United, Albion, another trip to California, and then home against the LA Force. Still have a home match against Flower City and Albion. Certainly a nice little break from that hard league action. Push forward. Green Jr. thought for a moment he was gonna become fortunate and get a mistake out of the goal keep, but instead handled well and sent back out. No question, that match against Cal United that is coming up is going to be a big one. In the box, here's a chance, driven, blocked away, another chance. Still looking for some room, off the post to the right side. Still in the box. 
and then moved out and away. A couple of great looks there for Chattanooga as they felt for certain they were going to get on the board first. You can see it right here. Just trying to elevate that ball a little bit in the right spot and then taking off the foot of Stratton. Those are the best opportunities of the night so far for Chattanooga. Green gives chase, instead it's knocked away and then headed back into play. The foul will halt the play there. Spielman kicks us off here. Chattanooga with a lot of one-touch passing here. Just trying to make Metro Louisville play a little bit tighter. Maybe run themselves out of this first half here. Stratton now, sending it backwards. game has begun to warm up a little bit. Some really spot on looks for a goal. Spielman heads it back. Stratton sends it forward. Chattanooga trying to get a little bit wider here on the pitch tonight. See if they can't open the field up. You open the field up, you open up some opportunities. Over the top of the mid circle, Sutton. And there's a foul. And this could bring out a card. It does. First yellow card of the night. right here on this aggressive attempt. Ibrahim Kodatic with the yellow card there. Reddington's a little upset with the defense in front of him, thinking that maybe they hadn't uh, spotted the offense the way they should have. Marking the offensive threats and then taking them out. Stratton here. There's Chattanooga back to that possession. Very cautious tonight on that build out. Now all the way wide. Making Louisville cover the whole thing here. Back towards center circle. Green Jr. trying to press here. Force a mistake. He'll continue to chase. And so Louisville will move it around and move it away from him. Change of strategy here late in this first half. 
as we get to 24 minutes. Well, this game certainly does have the feel. Uh, burst of plays here tonight. Patience and then lightning quick strikes. Hernandez steps in front of this one. Has the captain's band tonight. Nice job to send this one out. Green Jr. holds it for a second. Little loft pass here. And this one is broken up by the keeper. These two teams just jockeying for a position and an opportunity. The passing accuracy seems to be getting better as we continue to progress through this first half here. Is he Jara? Into the box, the attempted header. Comes up short, out to Alex Jones. And Jones to the turf, he'll be all right though. Fourth this evening in Chattanooga. You know, you could you could say that both these clubs looking for some confidence building moments here tonight. For Metro Louisville against a superior club, and for the young players of Chattanooga, any playing time at all. Green Jr. there had it for a moment. And now Chattanooga will begin to set up for their counter. Chattanooga's had one fabulous opportunity to score here so far. And one shot from point blank range, didn't find the mark. And then the second attempt was defended so well on the opposite post. Jones here. Leg to chest, back down to his legs again. Quick chase for the ball there. Clubs trying to make their own kind of music here tonight. Just find a way to get a quality shot on goal. And the spacing here tonight seems to be getting better. Now there's the yellow card. Benoza as we near the 29th minute. That is the second yellow card tonight. against the visitors. First card coming at the 22 minute mark. Second card here at the 28 minute mark. Metro Louisville trying to sort out their offense right here. Trying to send the ball through and this one is intercepted. Push briefly out of play. When as we near the 
30 minute mark, possession time could be a draw in this one. Chattanooga packs it in defensively here. Reddington on the run. See how long he holds. I had mentioned that earlier. He seems to be a little bit more patient with what he does after he has the ball in his hands. A quick roll out to the right side. Sent forward. Everybody, the next home match here in Chattanooga will be September the 10th against the LA Force. You can go online now and purchase tickets. And the LA Force coming in. Now they have not had a fantastic year. They have paled in comparison to Cal United and Albion, San Diego. But still one of those California teams, you, you, you carry that on your back. And uh, there's sort of this reputation to uphold that these West Coast teams might have a larger pool of talent to draw from. And you always want to be competitive against them. And you certainly want to continue to separate yourself from the rest of the pack. As we said earlier, really kind of a two-team race right now between Cal United and Chattanooga. Of course, the Michigan Stars have played well this year. Some of the news out of Michigan is they're going to have their second NISA team involved in play next year. So we're going to have two clubs in that Detroit metro market. I always start to wonder at this point in the match, what is your risk tolerance? Are you willing to maybe send somebody? Maybe take a risk defensively. Reddington, nice! Off his feet in the air to make the, drop, the grab and now sends it out quickly. Hoping his team can go on the counter. Watch Reddington here. Off his feet momentarily. He's come to expect these shots. This one. You can see the excitement on his face right there. Chattanooga looking to counter here. Green to Jones, offsides. It certainly does feel like that Metro Louisville is a little bit quicker tonight so far here in transition. I would expect as the game continues to progress and as these players for Chattanooga get more comfortable in the match itself, they'll begin to speed it up a little bit as well. Straight on, knocked away. Held in now. Maybe another opportunity coming here. From an angle. Oh! Sending it across and not able to connect. They're near post to the far post. As Bermuda has tried to hook up with Damian Rodriguez, who had managed to find a spot unmarked. Just couldn't get it on his foot. Now 
nice job there defensively with aggressive play by Spielman to hold it in. Ward now bumped around a little bit. Well, a couple of yellow cards here in the first half. And the shots on goal are getting interesting. Alec Reddington this evening for Chattanooga has had to leave his feet a, a few times. And Brian Martin on the other side, he has come out tonight. He's come out quite a bit of distance to make plays on the ball. And you just wonder if sooner or later that might be a problem. Abraham Kardatik. Now with it, I mentioned he has a yellow card as he picked his up in the 22nd minute. Centered, chested away by Ward, held in by Louisville. Well, this is a club that has played some good matches too in Louisville. This is Martin again coming out, and it almost appeared for a moment that that one was going to get away from him. It was sent back for him to handle and turned him around a little bit. Playing wide, sending it through. And Louisville not able to really put it on the frame there. at the start of this match. How would these teams play? How would they get into rhythm? Here's Jones into rhythm, sending it across. Green, and this one is in the back of the net. It was a three on two rush, and it's finished off at the end. Jones gets it started, then to Green, and then the back of the net. As Chattanooga has scored now at the 37 minute mark. And that's kind of what they were waiting for tonight, that aggressive goalkeeping play, that forward pressing offense to give up an opportunity. And Chattanooga makes it a one nil match here in the first half. On the goal, Damian Rodriguez. mentioned that Jones was one of the veterans out there tonight that was probably going to see a lot of playing time, just helping the young, the younger guys get through it a little bit. And he is a part of that. Jones to Green to Rodriguez. That equals one to nothing. just as we were talking about getting into form, right? And it is not unusual to see Jones involved in a scoring opportunity for certain. Stratton. Spielman has it now. There's the goal scorer with the ball now. Uh, you would think that he would be active the rest of the night and excited the rest of the night, giving his club a 1-0 lead here in the first half. This is Chattanooga game here, possession game now. 
hold it in offensively or defensively. Limit your mistakes. And there's a run down the side, a breakout in the alley. It dissolves without an opportunity appearing. Metro Louisville trying to clear it out here, and there's aggressive play. That will end up in a foul. burned through the month of August. And there are many, but precious few. It seems like at the same time, matches left for Chattanooga here at home. It'll be a very busy month of September. You will have an opportunity to see this Cub play right here again at the Fort a few times in the month of September. As they are clearly in control of their playoff march, their postseason march. Sent wide, the defensive chase held in there by Louisville and then knocked away. Looks like Louisville is trying to play a little bit more in space here to see if they can't make this defense chase. Again, we mentioned a lot of veteran signings by this Metro Louisville club. Boy, and there's a, there is a, a one-man dribble that, that ends in a turnover. But Ibrahim Kadic is certainly a very talented player, as we have seen him work his way around several different defenders here tonight. Reddington. Collision for the ball, worthy of no call. Corin there. Player remains down though for Metro Louisville. Espinoza, who had the yellow card in the 28th minute. Still down on the turf. making a strong argument. That a foul and possibly even a card should have come out on that play. doing a nice job tonight of connecting under pressure. They have not had a quality look here in a while, and now they'll have to defend. Jones was thinking about running down the line, instead holds up as the numbers didn't follow, and the advantage wasn't there. Hernandez sends it wide. Here's the goal scorer, Rodriguez. Green, Green off the left foot, and it gets by the goalkeeper. Was it offsides? That's the question. It was not. And a yellow card comes out.
A two to nothing contest. A goal and a yellow card almost precisely at the same time. And we'll have to get things sorted out here for you. Green, finally. And he has been knocking on that door tonight. Finds a way to score the second goal here this evening. Where Roddy Green has just been camped out right at the top of the box. Should almost be paying rent over there. Still waiting to figure out who the yellow card will be given to. It's the third yellow card here in the first half against Metro Louisville. And that'll bring this first half to an end. Chattanooga with a 2-0 advantage. And they have broken out here late with goals in the 37th and in the 44th minute as the two teams head to the locker room. Our coverage of Chattanooga football will continue this evening when we return. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting us know more. Yep. All right. Well, we'll wish them the best of uh, the evening as uh, Signal Centers uh, is our uh, one of our sponsors here this evening in one of our community interests and let's get you back to the broadcast we had mentioned that there was a, a bit of mayhem at the end of the uh, first half and here's what we can tell you happened or to the best of our knowledge here's what happened rodney green uh, scores a goal in the 44th minute that is followed up almost immediately with a yellow card which is followed up almost immediately with a red card on the goalkeeper. And so it was a, a very active last minute to the match. The question was, is would the two coaches get together? Since this is a non-league match, you could almost call it a friendly, if you will. Would they get together and decide to let the goalkeeper stay in the match? or would they actually force a change? And it looks like maybe that Martin has stayed in as the goalkeeper. And so the question will be, are they playing one man down? So three yellow cards in the first half, the red card, and a very difficult to overcome two nil deficit for Louisville now. I want to welcome you back into the broadcast. I'm Todd Agney, filling in for Simon Neal tonight. We had mentioned he was getting a well-deserved night off this evening. And I can only imagine that he was at home screaming at the TV in the final minute of play as things began to unfold. Enjoying this one from afar, no doubt. Speaking of goalkeepers, one of them right there with the ball on his foot. Rodriguez. So Rodriguez tonight and Green with the goals. Another opportunity here. This will be point blank if it's not offsides, and it is. All right, we just have been given clarification on what will happen with the red card. As speculated, Martin, still the goalkeeper, and Metro Louisville is going to play with 11.
So under any other circumstances, it would be a different scenario. The backup goalkeeper would be in play right now. And Metro Louisville would be one man down. But as we have said several times, non-league match here this evening. Before things really get cranked up here in a few more nights for CFC. Clarification: Marlon Sierra is going to be the goalkeeper now. So Bryant Martin is indeed out of the match, but these two clubs are at equal strength. Which was some of the speculation during the half. There was a lot of conversation going on up here about what would the two coaches do about this and clearly getting together and discussing the options and deciding to remove the goalkeeper but replace him and play at full strength. I feel like that bit of house cleaning is all taken care of now. Now we said at the start of this broadcast, this would be an opportunity this evening for Chattanooga's younger players, players with not as many minutes to get an opportunity to play here this evening. And uh, they have lived up to some of the early press clippings and the hype as they continue to press forward here now on offense. And this one is sent out of play. That, that cross, that pass across the pitch intended for Rodriguez. Back into play now. Uh, if you're Chattanooga, you certainly don't need to be too aggressive here. You could play possession ball the rest of the way home and feel like you're going to walk away with a win here. Well, it took a while to get things started. Chattanooga offensively, not nearly as aggressive as Metro Louisville, sort of warmed up to the task, began to press a little bit more, got some players involved. Rodriguez here. Stepping around two, finally it's broken up and pushed away. But a little bit more aggressive right now here offensively here in the second half. Through the center circle. Well, if you're Metro Louisville, you just almost have to say, all right, here's how we're gonna approach the second half. It is nil-nil. Let's just play some smart possession, make some high percentage shots, be aggressive, long drive, easily handled on the bounce by Redding, Reddington. Reddington, by the way, tonight has uh, made several stops. He's had to come off his feet. He's had to punch the ball out. He's had to push it over the top of the bar. And if it weren't for his place, we could be talking about a 2-1 a match at this point. Chattanooga really did have to wait for things to kind of open up. Travis Ward momentarily with it. Here's a lazy pass across the middle that's intercepted. It's the kind of mistake right there you don't want to see happen in a match. Reddington comes out and handles. Realized there was a threat, made a play on the ball. Yeah, certainly if you had on your checklist tonight, build confident play tonight for Chattanooga, they have gotten there. You can check that box. Louisville we'll creates the turn over here. Ward, one touch pass. Boy, and we noticed that in volumes in the first half. Chattanooga with a lot of one-touch passing. Rodriguez pushing it forward with the right foot. 
solo dribble, sends it back. Hernandez, one touched it back, playing in the triangle over there now with Stratton. This is the possession style that led to some defensive breakdowns. Late in the first half by Metro Louisville. Spielman, nice job to protect the ball. Sends it forward, Bermudez. Trying to center this one. Kicked up and out. player down here at this time. That one touch passing tonight at times seems to have caught Louisville off guard a little bit. You know, when you spend your night chasing you can so quickly get out of position. We're gonna have a corner kick. We have not had a corner kick here yet this evening. It's a Chick-fil-A corner kick. Explore the different ways to order your Chick-fil-A. Contactless ordering and delivery options available. Download the app now. So off this set, it looks like Chattanooga is going to try to bend this away from the mouth of the goal. Green is in the box, and he is marked by two defenders. As we also have a substitution happening at this time. Jeffrey Otto will enter the match as we have our first substitution of the evening. Set play broken up in the corner. Well, we talked about working on things, right? Getting people experience. You wouldn't normally want to give up a corner kick like that so freely. But this is a teachable moment for a young squad out there this evening. Otto fires it across. And a foul there on the takedown. Velasco had it offensively for a moment and was wiped off the ball. And so the kick from here. Yeah. Your mother been talking about me again? Metro Louisville trailing two to nothing has an opportunity here now in this set play. The approach and tries to bend it in towards the net. Couldn't connect with anybody and it kicks out of bounds. Boy, it's so important to get delivery into the box on those corner kicks and those kicks right there. So at least you get an opportunity. The drive in this one. Just off that inside bar. And this game is now two to one. As Metro Louisville has scored here in the 59th minute. Well, you knew it was just a matter of time before they would break through here tonight. Watch right here. Held in with the chest and then off the foot quickly. And that was Jeffrey Otto who just checked in moments ago. And 
one would have to wonder, and rightfully so, if Metro Louisville would even have had that opportunity had not Rod Underwood agreed more than likely at the half in this friendly to let these two teams play at equal strength after the red card. Under regular circumstances, Metro Louisville would be one player down. I think that just goes back to our point when we talked about the keys to the match here this evening brought to you by Honda Power Sports that much of the match here this evening was going to be a learning experience. It was going to be about the aggressive play tonight of Metro Louisville, and I think we've seen that here this evening. They have really been on the offensive most of the night. They've taken some risks that have cost them. Kicked away by Stratton. Long drive, and this one sails wide to the right. Now the clean sheet for Alec Reddington gets dirty at the 59th minute. But still, his play tonight and goal has been inspiring for the Chattanooga Football Club. Everybody in this game makes mistakes, but when a goalkeeper makes them, it's costly and it's glaring. And tonight, well, he just has been almost perfect in his play. Taking the right angle. Sealed off the, the near and the far bars. And, and in this game, if you're a goalkeeper, it doesn't matter how you save the ball or what you save it with, but as long as you keep it out, you've done your job. It can be pretty or ugly. It still counts as a win for you. Nothing lead felt insurmountable until the other team scores early in the second half of play. Then it starts to bring in a little bit of doubt. Otto with it. Sent it wide. Back to Otto. Otto making his presence felt with fresh legs here in the second half. Chip towards the goal and handled there. The one thing Chattanooga doesn't want to do now is overplay their options here. Center. Otto has it on his foot. It's knocked away. Plays it back, and there is a press coming on right now. Metro Louisville trying to find a spot, and this one is punched over the bar and out of play. Now there's what we were talking about with Reddington. He's had to make several stops here tonight. And he's done it in a variety of ways. Corner kick headed uh, out of play. Something else that may begin to unfold is this match continues is that when you're on the offensive you have a tendency to have a little bit more energy than when you're playing defensively all night and this defensive numbers might be starting to take its toll on Chattanooga so here's another attempt to cross the box and through the open mouth sort of felt like the possession time was equal through the first 30 minutes of play but it has the feel of being a Metro Louisville offensive night as Chattanooga will now make their first substitution of the night. Alex Hernandez, a substitute. Will come in to make his play, playing appearance. Make that James checking in. Ferreira checking out.
would say this tonight, you talk about the goalkeepers and Reddington for Chattanooga, he's had to deal with several different aerial balls. Whereas on the other end, Martin, who played the first half, probably didn't see as many of those, especially in the pass through. Sierra right now has yet to have his hands on the ball for Metro Louisville. It's been a quiet evening so far for him after the red card against the goalkeeper Martin. And they allow the replacement. And there it is. There is the second goal of the night for Metro Louisville. Right here inside the 66th minute. Boy, it happened just like that. We talked about Metro Louisville just having more of that aggressive stride here this evening. You can see right here, it happens all so quickly. And that might have been Jeffrey Otto once again. Yeah, I think Jeffrey Otto has a pair of goals here this evening for Metro Louisville. See now, there's the substitution for CFC. Giuseppe Guerrero. Should point out that things have settled down since a very heated ending to the first half. The goal, the yellow card, the red card. And now a corner kick for CFC. Going to try the same set play. Going to try to triangle out of that corner, and they turn it over again. This one is driven down and away in a hurry by Otto. And if you're Metro Louisville, and this is can be a game of momentum, you have it all right now at full sail. We've not seen a lot of those, those channel runs here in the second half. Been more of a centering match so far. So we started this second half, Chattanooga with a 2-0 lead. And there you can see on the screen that Metro Louisville has come up with a goal to get back in and then the neutralizer. Keep in mind, there are no points on the line here this evening. This is a non-league match. Chattanooga entered this one by leaving a few players off the roster and giving them a night to rest as there is a foul right there at point of contact. Hernandez, we said earlier, wearing the uh, captain's band this evening. And here's Ward to get things started again. A 
Deke sends the pass through. It's a three on three opportunity here, trying to center, and the defenseman breaks up the crosser. Chattanooga looking for that goal ahead goal here. The tackle on the sideline there. And Metro Louisville will throw in. tonight to watch how the play has changed for both these clubs. You know, that last Cal United game for Chattanooga, you know, they, they certainly did play several games in a very short period of time. So tonight could be exactly, if you will, what the doctor ordered. Just an opportunity to, to give some of your starters a break. There you see Green chasing at center circle. Trying to win the ball here in the corner instead. It's driven across and headed out. So nodded away and then pushed down. Trying to look for a channel to run in and instead this one goes out of bounds. Hernandez and Rodriguez on this near side trying to work together as a team to get it back across midfield. Certainly have seen a lot of wide and central patterns here this evening. minutes ago, had it momentarily. And then Spielman. So if you're Chattanooga, maybe now is the time to be patient, be good at the point, and good at midfield. Maybe you can catch Metro Louisville just trying to press here as they have been the aggressor all night with a little bit more on the line. We'd mentioned that they have to earn their way into open cup play. And that evaluation of that begins in September. So this is sort of a buildup for them as they continue to work on their resume. Nothing will come free to them. And that's what was online this evening when this match got started. For Chattanooga, more so an opportunity to build depth. Centered. But no connection. 
Well, the guy you got to look out for right now is Otto, who has scored twice in the 59th and in the 66th minute. There's a drive towards goal, and Reddington slides to the near post to seal it off and keep this match at 2-2. Another look at the save. Somewhat interesting to see how strategy begins to unfold as we near the end of this match. Several players taking this opportunity to stretch out here. And it is possible that we're having a little bit of cramping here this evening. player that has now got a shoe back on. That's the halt in play, and everybody takes that halt in play as an opportunity just to stretch and get some liquid. And based on what we've seen here tonight, my thought is we will see no additional time. draws a shrug from just about everybody. We've seen some things tonight that uh, if you follow the norms, this is what would happen. But tonight, I don't think we're following the norms. This match was described as several things before we got started tonight, initially as a featured match. And then they talked about it being a friendly. And uh, we've talked about it being a non-league matchup. Just the eight teams left right now in the NISA standings with the suspension of play by Val City and Bay Cities. The standings now in that new table, single table format are Cal United, Chattanooga, Albion, one, two, and three, followed by the Michigan Stars and the Maryland Bobcats, and then the Syracuse Pulse, as they are the next three teams, and then the Los Angeles Force and Flower City Union. Our team's seven and eight in the league right now. And the hottest team over the last week or so has been the Syracuse Pulse winning three and losing a pair. For Flower City, it's been just an awful stretch over the last five, losing four and drawing a tie. We mentioned Chattanooga's last five. A win, two losses, and a pair of ties. So collecting some points there, some very valuable points. And Cal United having the best stretch with three wins, a tie, and a loss over the last five. Mohamed Tiha will check in now for Metro Louisville. And I would say the other thing we're unaware of tonight or haven't been informed about would also be, as you see Lopez checking out, the number of substitutions that would be allowed this evening. Touching it back to keep possession.
A heavy kick down the pitch. Let's see if Chattanooga will build out of this. We talked about the uh, one touch passing here tonight. You know, sometimes you would expect maybe a team to be a little heavy in the opening minutes of a match, but Chattanooga tonight with their passing has not been that way. They've been able to connect. This one coming in, and this one handled well there by Reddington. By Reddington tonight, keeping his club in this one. There was very little doubt left that his effort tonight put his team in the lead as you watch the replay right here. Trying to cycle that one. But Reddington has been up to the task. This one, just as we began to talk about it, drives to the left of the far post, and Metro Louisville has taken now the three to two lead. Boy, that shot. I think may have caught a few people by surprise. Off the foot of the offensive player. You watch right here. Just touches it behind a fantastic move. Velasco. On the goal. There's the takedown. So we entered the second half. CFC had the 2-0 lead off the goals by Damian Rodriguez and Rodney Green. They have surrendered three here in the second half. Jeffrey Otto with a pair at 59 and 66. And now Velasco here in the 82nd minute. Worth noting, not entirely unexpected. Some professional signings to bolster the lineup of Metro Louisville. Trying to build up this program, get them to the next level. And they are being rewarded here in the second half. And remember, technically, they would be playing with a man down. But with even numbers, they have began to really express themselves offensively. As Fabian Rodriguez becomes the next substitution for Chattanooga. He will check in, and Damian Rodriguez will check out. It has been clear now here in the second half that the offense has been in the balance for Louisville. And they have uh, managed to find a way to take away the possession time of Chattanooga. Another substitution this time for Metro Louisville. So for Chattanooga, on September the 4th, they'll be at Championship Stadium to take on Cal United. That is their next league matchup. And then they will stay out west for a match on the 7th to take on Albion before returning home to take on and host the LA Force. That match will be on September the 10th. Go online now and get your tickets. They'll follow that up 
with another home match against Flower City and then Albion again. So getting a chance to play Albion twice in the month of September. And this is a club that is right behind Chattanooga in the standings at this time. Chattanooga is second, Albion is third. It's gonna take quite an effort by CFC to go out west and get the job done in California and then return home and maintain some championship momentum. Sets up to be quite a thrilling ride to the very end in September. Now the numbers have changed here in this one, but one might be able to think that Rod Underwood gets out of this one happy one way or the other. He'll be evaluating how did how did the depth players respond to the system? What's their skill level at? And when you get out west and you start playing that many games in that short period of time, think about it now. They've got a home game on the 4th, and they head out west. They play the 7th and the 10th, right? So they're going to have to have some players that they can go to that can provide them some relief. And maybe they have found it here tonight. Maybe a player like Rodney Green gets more time. Some possession here in the offensive end. Ward fighting off the defender. In the middle, still trying to work out this little bit of a triangle look right here. Close quarters here on the side. Foot it down, here's an opportunity. Things are opening them up. Trying to center and not able to connect, but held in and then fired on goal. And this one ricochets off the bar on the right. The question is, is did it bounce in and cross the line? The goalkeeper had no idea. Marlon Sierra didn't flinch. That has been the best opportunity maybe of the entire second half for Chattanooga. And they just missed making it a three all match. As we are in that 88th minute. With little promise of extra time. Metro Louisville now, will they try to start a, another offensive sequence or will they be happy just to hunker down and play defense? They have not brought too many players forward. This is certainly their plan now is to play back and not let anything get behind them. As they look like they are on their road to taking a win home with them into the other time zone. Talk about a bonus. Now well, maybe Chattanooga here has a chance to create a friendly bounce. In Chattanooga entered the second half with what felt like an insurmountable two to nothing lead. It looked like they were in control of play and game. Not to consider also their emotions. And Metro Louisville has found a way to put three goals up on the board as we have hit the 90 minute mark here with goals at 59, 66, and 82 minutes. So they have added some extra time. I speculated earlier that they may not do that simply because we had a red card to end the first half. And we had a red card on the goalkeeper. 
And from what we've been able to determine, the officials, or the coaches rather, got together along with the officials at the half and said, okay, we're going to remove the goalkeeper. It was a red card ejection on the goalkeeper. We're going to remove the goalkeeper, who was at the time Brian Martin, we're going to allow, or we're going to allow rather, Metro Louisville to replace that goalkeeper, and we're also going to allow them to play even strength and not remove a man from the field to play. And while that decision may result in a loss on the scoreboard here tonight, you kind of, you, you know, you get that feeling that that's the right thing to do in a lot in a non-league game where you're just trying to get some people some experience. And there's no doubt Metro Louisville has uh, grabbed that opportunity and made the very best of it. Still down on the field at this time, Juan Hernandez, the captain. And you would think with just under three minutes, just barely under three minutes that he would play any more here this evening. Well, a chance for Metro Louisville here to sit deep and look for counters and control. Really not a need to do anything else. As the substitution occurs, Colin Stripling. There were seven substitutes available here tonight. Ian Cerro, Stripling being one, Guerrero, Hugo Martinez, Fabian Rodriguez, Kevin Gonzalez, and Alex Hernandez, and everybody has seen playing time. Jeffrey Otto, one of the substitutes tonight for Metro Louisville, certainly made the most of his limited playing time with a pair of goals. And again, those coming within 10 minutes of each other at the 59 minute mark and 66 minutes. And we talked about just kind of staying back and playing it forward. This kind of feels like that's what we're seeing right here. Although that back line is gonna consist of seven out of the 11 players as they will pack it in and make sure that nothing happens behind them. And still they manage to get a little bit of offense going and there's a foul. And Chattanooga will have a chance to clear it out, have a chance to make a run here now. This could be their last opportunity here this evening to cycle forward and make something happen. A look long, and it's too long, possibly. A chase to the corner, and this one ends up out of play. opportunity here to hold this one. You would like to ask and know what the goalie experience for Marlon Sierra is. He was not even marked as being available here tonight, but indeed he is as he is the goalkeeper. And you would expect that at some point somewhere down the line he has played that position and there it is. That, that drive out of the zone will end our play here tonight as this friendly has concluded. Well, things got started early in the 37th minute with a score by Damian Rodriguez. Jones to Green to Rodriguez, it was one to nothing. Rodney Green would follow up at the 44th minute in the first half with his own goal. So the forward makes it a two to nothing match. And then we get to the third or the second half and that's when Metro Louisville kind of unloaded offensively. Jeffrey Otto with goals at the 59 and 66 minutes, making it 2-1-2-2. Two, two, two. And then Velasco with the final goal occurring at the 82nd minute, making it a final score 
of three to two. So for our entire crew, I'm Todd Agney saying so long from Chattanooga's Friendly Stadium, where again that final score is Metro Louisville three, Chattanooga two. And as a reminder, all Chattanooga Football Club matches are streaming live and archived on 11 Sports. This has been a presentation of Chattanooga FC on 11 Sports.